Hello everyone, welcome back to Cinco Paus. We had an amazing high score run last game. Last, well, last video, we had two runs, right? One where I just barely scraped together 19 points at the end. I think 19? Again? Two games in a row with 19 points. And then my all-time high score of 63. And this is, we're at 15 Hogos, right? So shouldn't we be getting another um, enemy power-up? We have frogs, we have roosters, we have shrimp. Well, the first one comes, the first power up comes on game five, doesn't it? So when exactly do you get the enemy power ups? I think they're called upgrades. Um. Because we got the shrimp one just a game or two ago, I feel like. But maybe it was three. Maybe you get a power-up every four games? But it doesn't seem right. I don't know. No new power-up. Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm sort of confused about when they should show up. I wasn't exactly expecting one here, but I wasn't sure. I thought there might be one. Reflexive Lizard Killer? Ah, that's pretty good anyway. I kind of wish you wouldn't, but that's fine. I'll just make a shrimp cocktail out of you. I'm still not allowed to move. <laughs> and then I'll fire off another wand and I still won't be allowed to move. Let's shoot this guy, I guess. Okay, <laughs> the wizard's duel is over. And I still have a chance to test something on this frog. Mm, not a fan, but, you know, it's not horrible. A sleeping frog is not always an enemy. Sometimes he's uh, an ally. Uh, how much do I like the idea of walking over here and getting amnesia or er, paralyzed? I want to shoot this down here. It's great, right? And this pack of enemies. I think I'll go over here. That's fine. And I already shot both of these at a shrimp, I think. And they didn't do anything. So I'm going to shoot one at a frog instead. Fine. Uh, I can stall one more turn. Let's shoot this at a frog as well. Great. Well, okay, the phantom is not so great. But this kills, like, everything down there, which is nice. I think I just punched this moron. I'm a little short of useful wands that might do something. I suppose I could befriend a lizard. Let's try shooting this down here first, see if something good happens kills lizards. I was thinking about like backing up and or scooting forward and backing up so that uh you know in case that uh did kill lizards I could kill both of them. But I think it's pretty greedy because it means I would get attacked if it doesn't kill lizards and then I really have to use my statue. So I'll just I'll just move this guy along so that I can finish looting here. I learned that it kills frogs and makes shrimp cocktails, okay? Uh, sure. Go ahead and paralyze me, I guess. This seems like a decent explosion, right? But wouldn't it be better to stall for a turn by charging up? And that way I catch the frog in the damage and the explosion. Okay. 
We learned this also. It's sanguine. Mm. Oh, I forgot this guy's asleep. <laughs> Very funny. Um, do I want to kill these frogs? Like, I could do that. I'd be left with two phantoms, and I can deal with one pretty easily. The other's a bit more of a pickle. I think I might just kill this lizard. And then... Kill one frog, and then bully around the resulting phantom. Oh! That's not so good. I forgot about my sleep ability. Well, I don't want to send this guy to the next level, and I don't want to take damage either, so I guess I'm just leaving. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey! It has charges! Oh, good. My worst wand has charges. Okay, well, we learned something. Hmm. What do I do about that rooster? I'd also really like a chance to use these artifacts productively. Like, I'd love to get long arm right now, but I don't want to take over that lizard, I don't think. Do I? Maybe. Just to get through it and, like... Really? Am I doing that? It would give me two lizards. That's not nothing, I guess. How come you didn't attack anybody? Oh, I guess you were cop... The turn you're copied, you're not allowed to move? Hmm. Or the turn you are made as a copy of something else. Okay, these lizards suck, but at least they died. Eh, they got one attack in as well. That's nice. Uh, I think I can afford this. Blow these guys up. It's not incredible I'm using this to only do two damage, but like... Is it going to do more somehow? No. And I don't mind that this guy is shooting at me because I can just make him into a cocktail. Oh! If you're at full health, you can't make cocktails. That makes sense, I guess. As much as anything in this game makes sense, anyway. It follows the other game logic rules that we've learned. Alright, I think my frog statue is already pretty good. Let's see what this can do. Really? Profound study. Deep study, maybe? A book identifies a wand? Huh. So I guess if you steal a book, you fully identify a wand? And I guess this means... If you steal a key, it manufactures another key to go into your collection down here. But, like, wouldn't you just pick up the hidden treasure instead and get a key made that way? I guess the difference is that this manufactures a new key, right? So stealing a key gives you effectively an extra point compared to stealing something else. This one, I mean, fully identifying a wand seems insane. And I want to steal the non-key treasures if I can. So I think I take this. Oh, uh... I could forget something, huh? Let's forget that this makes a shrimp. I'm 
really hate the idea of using this ever, but maybe an opportunity will arise. You know what? I'll just... Wait. No, not like that. <laughs> I thought... I thought multiple wrong things here. Um, I... <laughs> I thought that I had, like, if I just stood here, the cape would protect me. This is... I knew this wasn't the cape. But I just thought, like, it would apply anyway. And I would charge up my attack, and then I would punch the rooster. The, the rooster didn't have to move here. I don't have a cape. There's multiple reasons this wasn't really the best plan. Um... I think, though, backing up and firing this off is pretty good. Now I can put you to sleep. This seems okay for taking care of roosters, right? I've only found out one effect of this wand, and it's a good one. I don't need any more. Uh, let's see. So, drop a Scarecrow over here, please. Murder this guy. Murder these guys? It seems fine? But not exactly incredible. Because I get all these ghosts. I don't really want to be paralyzed right now. What have I done? I'm not injured, so I can't make a shrimp cocktail. Now I can. I'd like to get attacked by both of you, if that's possible. It's instant speed? Oh, you slimy... I hate you. All I wanted to do with this was skip a turn, and I can't. Well, there's no way for me to take a hit from a ghost, is there? Or not from two ghosts, anyway. Until another enemy appears, I guess. I'll go down to one when I do that. I guess I want to be in a spot where, like, lots of them can attack me. I can't convince this frog to come after me. Ugh, I'll have to take what I can get, I guess. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't die from that, because I forgot it was going to attack me. Alright, I mean... Some value left on the table, but not that much. I feel like I worked pretty hard for these 20 puntos. But, I don't know. Somehow didn't get that much value. I guess I didn't, didn't have a way, any way to print treasures, basically, is the issue. Or I couldn't find one. Probably there was one. Yeah. I, these two wands make treasure. So what, what else did this do? This was an insane wand, right? It was also Earthquake. And also Pilar. Oh, how funny. This was instant speed protection. So if I had somehow, like, 
used this and then walked in a way that a ghost could attack me, it would have protected, but there's no such thing. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, sure, let's try another. This is the same artifact I had at the end of my last run. Do they stay in order if you don't use them? Or is this just a coincidence? I haven't paid attention enough to know that. I'll see you later, Key and Ghost. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I don't really love being here. What the hell? Uh, oh. But you're pinning me! Alright, that's fine. I'll just stall a turn. Take that! Shrimp cocktail, baby! And treasure! Okay, well... And I guess I can steal this. And somehow we're back at full health and we have the dos puntos. Well... Sort of. Alright, let's see if this makes a treasure somehow. Mm, it charges me up. Okay, I would like to scout out this last wand, but it's more important to go into the next level with my attack charged up. And if I do anything else... Actually, wait a minute. If I don't have any wands, you can't paralyze me because I have to be allowed to move if I can't shoot a wand. So actually, this is safe. All right. I think we just punched this ghost. It's a little sad because... Um, the ghost is kind of cornered anyway, and I could kill it without a powered up attack. But I'm not sure what to do about that. I'm just losing the power-up value. There's not a lot to say about that. The other thing is, this can make some treasure. Right now, I could aim it south, and it would kill this shrimp and make a treasure. But what if I went, like, south-north and then fired it south? I'm pretty sure I could manage to get this ghost and this shrimp. In fact, maybe it's better to go east-west. I guess it doesn't matter, but I get to pick up the key, right? Let's go east... west... and indeed, I am in a position to kill this ghost. But I'm not currently in a position to kill this shrimp. Because I'm not damaged enough to benefit from a shrimp cocktail. So I can punch this ghost and take a damage. I think they prefer to attack you rather than using the wand. I'm not 100% sure, but... That would get me damaged, but then this ghost wouldn't be next to a wall anymore. So I'd have to find another way to stall, perhaps by charging this up again, which seems fine. Oh, that makes treasure too! No kidding. Oh, this ghost might not even come back. One treasure and two damage on lizards might be the best I can get out of this. Because it saves me damage against the shrimp. And really helps a lot with finishing off the level. Safely. Uh, how did I not know this makes a shrimp? Oh, I shot it at a shrimp on the last level. No. I shot it at a wall, and it made a shrimp. Yeah, I, I do know it makes shrimps. What am I talking about that I didn't know it made shrimp? I, no, my question was, how did I know it made shrimp if it didn't make a shrimp last level? The answer is it did make a shrimp last level. I just was confused. 
Um, I guess I want to walk over here, right? And then... I don't know, making a shrimp actually doesn't seem all that great right now. <laughs> but I want to power up and punch somebody, right? Maybe I save the power up for next floor. I'm not going to get a treasure for killing this shrimp, am I? Just in case. Oh, I would if I... Ah! You idiot, what have you done? These paralyzing shrimps make this kind of a tricky combo to pull off. Um... Because you have to... <laughs> I should have been standing here is what should have happened. Then I could walk away and not get paralyzed. Okay. You want me to use a wand? I'll use a wand. Is this, does this make any sense? Not really. It makes spines, but it teleports this guy into the future, which I don't want. I guess I can shoot this somewhere. I know shooting it at the right wall at a shrimp doesn't do anything, so let's try... See if it's a reflective frog killer? Teleport's not that bad. Okay, making the southern frog my friend seems decent here. I'm not sure exactly what else to do. I could make spines here. Doesn't seem all that inspiring. Yeah, let's take a frog. Punch this guy for treasure. Punch this guy using the shrimp's friendly paralysis ability. And then what? I could move a gem to the next level. I don't really need it right now. Oh, I should have shrimp cocktailed that guy. I forgot. Whoops. Maybe I can turn this guy into a treasure instead. Yeah. But I don't get the heal. Now is the time to make a shrimp. Whoops, that's not how you make shrimp. To make a shrimp and run from it. Oh, right. I can just. I could have made a shrimp cocktail with the shrimp that I'm creating. Whoops. So I missed out on some health there. This happened to do something to ghosts? The only thing you really could do to ghosts is make them your friend, which. What the heck? Knock it off. Sorry, my alarm went off again. <laughs> uh, I forgot I'd set an alarm. Uh, oh, I don't want to aim at this guy because I would teleport behind him. I mean, I could, I could recharge. I mean, probably it should be the frog statue, right? But if I recharge the arm. 
I can get another key, and we're getting close to an upgrade that way. Get out of here! Sorry, I don't know. I don't usually record with sound. And, uh, now it's like, it's just reminding me I have to do something in two hours. It's not that urgent, really. Oh, let's, I guess I'll see if this, see if this explodes in my face. That would be good to know. I think I've used it before like that anyway. This doesn't make a treasure or something crazy, you know. Mm, okay. Move west. Yeah. Now, I could make a shrimp cocktail and turn it into a treasure. I'd like to stall for a turn so that I can get a treasure on this square, too, from one of these two guys. What can I do that stalls for a turn usefully? I guess I can see if this does anything else. Collects treasure. All right, that's good enough. Oh my god, and if any of them bleed to death, I get treasure from it. Oh, so good. Okay, that's a lot of value. Oh, I forgot to recharge an artifact, huh? Anyway, I could convince you to, like, not be such a huge damn rooster? Um, run away. I mean, the ultimate greed is to attack this guy, right? And get a treasure from him instead of trying to save it for you. I actually can't really save it. There's no, there's, I can't do damage to this lizard any other way that I know of. Why no treasure? I, oh, right. So, for the same reason that you don't get a shrimp cocktail, like, shrimp cocktail doesn't kill a shrimp unless you're damaged, this effect doesn't give you a treasure unless the enemy has more than one health. Or was, sorry, it works on ghosts, too. Unless this effect did something. And the, you know, killing an enemy at one health, you didn't need this effect... An enemy at one health who wasn't going to run away. You didn't need this effect, so it doesn't help you. Alright, I'm just going to loot while you bleed to death, if that's okay. Well, actually, this has charges. I should maybe try to avoid spending it. Let's just see what this does. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I guess if the rooster had moved north, um, that would be pretty cool. But he didn't, and now I'm damaging myself. <laughs> Alright, I'm spending a charge on this to heal, I guess. Or no, I'm already at full health, right? Yeah, I can take a damage. I'm getting a potion, so... I guess also I could just punch the rooster. He was going to drop a treasure anyway even without this effect. All right, I didn't decide which of these to copy, but I think now it should be the arm. Because zone five doesn't even always have any frogs. Sometimes it does. But also I'm, I have so much like power that I should be trying for more value uh, and not for survivability. I didn't end up getting this charged up. I I had that on the last floor, and I, like, forgot to use it or something? I let this one charge on purpose, but wasn't this still available and I just forgot? Ugh, what is wrong with me? So I can kill this lizard if I want but send a frog into the future, which is dangerous. Honestly, I'm not 
all that well kitted out for <laughs> this last level, I don't think. Um, yeah, maybe I should just grab this and see what other... Okay, cape's pretty good. Could we let the rooster in, please? Thank you. Although I didn't manage to do any damage here, huh? Jeez, I'm bad. Does it cure you every time it kills an enemy, or just every time you use the cape? I'm not really sure. Either way, I'm getting one. Well, not either way, but... I think it's whenever the cape activates. But I'm sort of wondering if I should... run for my life here? I think I attacked the frog. Yeah, it healed me once. Okay. I attack the frog again. I mean, the thing I want to kill is actually the rooster, right? And then I can just, like, mostly leave. Like, yeah, I could get a little bit of treasure out of these spells, but not that much. Compared to making sure I get out alive. And I, I can always teleport around him, right? For now. For now, I can always do it. In the future, I might not always be able to do it. I have the potential of a shrimp cocktail, so, like, my health... What, what other artifacts do I still have? None. I mean, I think I want to put a Scarecrow here. I take some damage this way. Ooh, shrimp Cocktail first? Is that safe? I think it should be okay. Let's back up first, though. Why didn't I do that in earlier instead of using the Scarecrow? It's a mystery. Oh, he stopped the... Okay, no shrimp cocktails for me. Good thing this was reflexive, huh? Okay. I kind of want to send this shrimp away, and also the potion to the next floor should be nice. Oh, did I know that pierced walls? I don't think I did know that. Do I? How do I? How do I still make treasure? This makes treasure, and there are ways I could activate that. Let's kill the lizard first and get out of here. And see if there's some way I could manage to get this charged up. I think I could. Yeah, I'll take a little damage. Oh, don't forget the shrimp! This is gonna make a shrimp. Don't forget it. I think that's okay, though. Get out of there. Do I have enough HP to do this? Well, this is safe and... Well, this will teleport me, actually. Is that safe? It kills this guy. 
Puts me here. I take a damage. I attack the frog. I get a treasure. But then to pick up the treasure, I have to walk away from this shrimp who will be here. And he might not let me to the exit. Oh, also, this will be a ghost. Is that okay? This is pretty dangerous. So aim this down. You die. I go here. I take a damage. I'm at two. I attack you. I take a damage. I go to one. I pick up the treasure. The ghost moves somewhere else, and the shrimp moves here. He won't try to paralyze me because I don't have a wand. I move up through the ghost. The shrimp goes here or here. Meanwhile, how many times have I moved? One, two, three, four, five. Well, four to get here. That puts this frog here, so I'm actually like toast if I try that, I think. It just can't work. Could I try something simpler, like... What if I just walked south? Punch this guy. I still take two. I can go pick up the treasure. Then... I know... So if I go south, he comes here... The ghost goes to one of these two squares. I punch this guy, the ghost is back to one of these two squares. I know when I go forward, the shrimp will definitely paralyze me. And... No, I, I don't think that works. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna leave. Um... And I don't know, do you get to bring this effect into the next level with you? Next game? And if you do, does it make treasure? I don't know either of these things. We'll find out together. Hey, and I'm above my high score in fewer than the number of games it took to get there. Great. Oops, I don't usually, I usually close on that last screen. Oh well, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.